Hello friends. In this video, I will tell you how to form tomatoes in a greenhouse. Where we grow tall tomatoes. I want to draw your attention to this. This formation of your tomatoes is suitable only for tall ones, they are also called indeterminate, because determinate ones are low-growing ones that do not need to be formed. They produce a crop on suckers, and if you do not form tall ones, they are very overgrown, overload themselves with the crop, it does not ripen, the harvest will not be so delicious, and the fruits themselves will be small, and to avoid this, you need to form your tomato plant. Pay attention to this tomato is tall, it is still small, you see, only we have the first bunch of flowers, and it's just time to form them to acquire the growth of the plant and make the outflow of nutrition from these suckers that all pull on themselves, to the growth of a new green mass up as well as to lay a large harvest. From below, we have old leaves, these are seedling leaves that no longer work on the bush, but only draw juice from it, so it must first be removed. With the help of pruning shears, we cut off these leaves. Also look at the sucker, here is a sucker growing, we also do not need it. Get closer to the stem and cut it off. This one is also cut off, and the bottom sheet. Especially this should be done when you do not have mulching, and the ground is bare, then when the leaves come into contact with the ground, there is a high probability that your tomatoes will be attacked by diseases, we remove this sucker, and also this one. Suckers can be broken out with your fingers, they need to be broken out to the side. As you can see, it breaks off. Well, you need to do it with gloves on. Because the fingers will be green or black. There will be a very unpleasant smell, and it will also be very difficult to wash them. I have already exposed the bottom of the trunk, now there is good ventilation. There is no contact with the ground, diseases will no longer be terrible for our plant, because it is well ventilated and sunlight is also good on the leaves. Well, we still continue to remove the suckers. It is better not to allow suckers to grow more than that. They are very easy to remove or like this. Don't let the suckers grow so big. Because they are very difficult to remove and cause a lot of damage to the plant when removed, and also here we have a large wound which can also get diseases, so keep an eye on your tomatoes and at least once a week break out the leaves and suckers. This will need to be done when the first bunch of fruits begin to tie. When we remove all the leaves from below, then a bunch from above, when a new trunk grows here, we can remove the leaves only when all the tomatoes are tied in the first bunch. Because the leaves that are on top, it feeds this bunch, and I also want to show you this sucker that grows right under the first bunch, if you have a place, then we do not remove this sucker. And thus we double the yield, because this trunk will continue to grow upwards, it will have a large harvest, and this will be a new trunk, which will also have the same exact harvest as on this trunk. And this sucker is the strongest, it grows as a bifurcation of the trunk and not as such a sucker that grows out of the sinus. You see, it falls off very easily, and it will not have such a good harvest. But on this one, the harvest will be large. So I always leave this sucker and grow it in two trunks. It doesn't matter what kind of tall tomato you grow, this is the physiology of tomatoes. Under each first bunch, a very strong sucker always grows, which we leave. But if you have very little space, and you will have nowhere to lead the second trunk, then we also remove this sucker. Also, throughout the season, suckers can start to grow again, so we re-remove them, and this should be done with all tomatoes, do not miss the moment. Do not let them overgrow too much, so as I have already told you, you reduce your harvest, it will not be so big, and not so delicious. If the information was useful to anyone, please subscribe to my channel and like it. I wish you a good day, see you in the new videos.